it's made. We're live in Brentwood. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. Rachel, thank you. The LAPD is warning the public to take caution as we head into this weekend. The warning follows a string of deadly crashes in South LA. Detectives say over the past 10 days, there have been nine people killed in car crashes in the South Central area. Half involved vehicles and people walking by, and in four cases, DUI was involved. In 28 years, this is the worst Thanksgiving I've ever seen. Um, we responded three times three separate times from home to three different incidents throughout the day. Uh, there's really no excuse for it. You know, with all the, you know, with Uber and Lyft and all these things that are out there, um, you know, you hope you could rely on, on family, friends, wherever you're at. I know this weekend the festivities will continue. People are visiting family and friends. Um, you know what I mean? Just watch out for each other, really. The most recent crash left a 26-year-old mother dead and her 8-year-old daughter fighting for her life. They were hit on a sidewalk in the Manchester Square neighborhood. Police say in all of these crashes, the suspects will face charges ranging from vehicular manslaughter to murder. Comedian Tiffany Haddish is facing another DUI case, this time in Beverly Hills. Police say they were called to Beverly Drive in Dayton Way just before 6 o'clock this morning after reports of a driver stopped in the middle of the road, apparently sleeping behind the wheel with the car still running. TMZ obtained video showing Haddish being peacefully taken into custody. Hours earlier, she had performed at the Laugh Factory in West Hollywood for the club's 43rd annual Free Thanksgiving Feast. In January 2022, Haddish was arrested for DUI in Georgia under similar circumstances. Well, the Black Friday shopping frenzy continues with plenty of people hitting the stores as we speak. Some businesses opened early so shoppers could get a head start on holiday shopping. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live at Victoria Gardens in Rancho Cucamonga with a look at crowds there. Shelby, doesn't look too bad behind you. How is it? It doesn't look too bad here, but on the other side, you've got tons of crowds. It's actually been a madhouse where we've gone today, and Victoria Gardens is no exception. I'm going to step out so you can take a look at what it looks like behind us. So they've closed down these metered streets so that shoppers can just pass on through here. It kind of gives like a Christmassy village type of feel, really nice. But shoppers are obviously trying to take advantage of those deals, and we've seen holiday decor go up, and of course, those extended hours are upon us. The holidays are in full swing, and so are the sales. I'm just here for the 60% off. Shoppers clocking to find great deals for the Black Friday consumer craze. Kate Spade, my math is not so good, but when it's 70% off plus another 25%, I feel like they're giving it to me. The Citadel outlets were opened by 8 p.m. Thanksgiving night, with many stores extending their hours through Friday at 11 p.m. At Victoria Gardens in Rancho Cucamonga, not only were streets shut down for the outdoor shopping experience, the Charles Dickens carolers were out spreading some Christmas cheer. Love to see the looks on the children's faces. Giving many people a pleasant experience as they loaded up with bags and bags of goodies. So we got Abercrombie jeans and some Victoria's Secret goodies. Archery target over at Outdoor World. At Ontario Mills, the parking lot to the inside of the mall was a madhouse. I've been waiting in line for a good like 20, 30 minutes. Just go to the Lego section. Did you get any Lego? Not yet. Are you going to? Maybe. Whether George got his Legos after is a mystery, but one thing is clear, he was excited and enough to show us his dance moves no matter who was watching. <laughs> That excitement may not come in the form of dancing for other shoppers, but